clarify a little bit of why first person point of view can be a bit of a problem for learning certain parts of the game. The remedy to that is getting into the replays of your favorite players. Now, that sounds way harder than it actually is. There are some great community resources out there that where you can download your favorite player's replays, current meta, everything, and then start using their build. We won't talk about taking notes and how to write your notes or how to use what you write to improve your own game in this video. We're just going to talk about obtaining the replays. Stay tuned later for a video on replay analysis. One of the best places to go find replays would definitely be spawningtool.com. This is run by a guy named Morn, really awesome active player in the community. As you can see, he's already got listed different build orders, Railgan, a very active Zerg player. So let's click here and you can actually see some of the build orders as well as the replays. There's a description, there's a VOD, all kinds of information. This is, again, hands down one of the best websites out there. You can even go here to replays, sort by event by build order by just about any damn thing you'd want so let you guys play with the searches there but it's a really awesome website usually stays pretty up to date another great place to find replays would be sc 2 replaystatscom this account that i've pulled up here doesn't have any games on this account but let's go ahead and log in the cool thing about sc 2 replay stats in addition to being able to find replays here and we'll get more into that in a moment is that once you start uploading your own replays to the website it'll start recommending how many games it wants you to play a week it's only recommending five for me i've played 25 so i've done a lot more than it it recommends but you can even see like in uh, certain matchups terran versus terran because random reasons but mostly my stuff should be zerg zvz improvement apparently i'm not producing workers constantly i need to keep my supply log ta time down and i need to start spending resources more uh pretty much the same thing on all of these um but we could even go to individual games this one is actually when I played against Andy Man, apparently it has four suggestions for me early game. Uh, not constantly producing workers. Uh, okay. Still not constantly producing workers. Apparently my minerals were getting high. And same thing here. So you can actually look at different aspects of your gameplay. And I don't want to spend too much time reading through all of these different things. But the point is, it's going to analyze everything for you. And of course right now i'm playing on an unranked account so it's not going to break it into different league specific things but if you were to be placed in the platinum it's actually going to show you how you compare to other platinum level players as well as diamond level players and that'll give you some idea of where you how you're closing the gap so the next website i want to show you actually conjoins with sc2 replay stats in a way and it's called sc2unmasked.com now once you get here there's all kinds of cool tools here you can search all the different ladders you can see what the best teams are there's a lot to play around with but for our purposes we're going to keep this very limited let's say i want to go to america uh the american server and i want to see the top you know 100 gms just clicking right here under ladder rankings will take me there now this is going to list the best gms on the ladder as it's reflected on Battle.net right now. And as you can see, there's a lot of different information. Uh, MMR, of course, is important. Win percentage is always important. Um, a lot of this information can be very, very fascinating. But in keeping this very limited, let's just take a quick look here at this SC2 Replay Stats logo. And we'll take out these top three. See what that gives us. So that account didn't have any games on it. These replays are hidden. Here we go. We've got one here. And this is Puck's account. He's the th uh, top three GM. So you can actually go through and all of these games were played pretty much on this patch. And it's only going to keep a certain number of games. So I keep check this website often. But of course you can download all of his games. See what he's doing right. What he's doing wrong. Um, copy build orders. Like these games versus game time I'm sure are going to be really interesting. He's had a great series with game time over the last few weeks. Just they've been training constantly together. I, uh, phenomenal games. And they can be yours. And you can download them. And you can watch them. And you can steal their build orders. And you can get good too. You can also find 
tournament replays because these are just replays that either got automatically uploaded from ladder or practice games or that they chose to upload so there's an inherent bias here but if you want uh, replays from events they tend to be released after the event sometimes significantly after the event so you can get older metas in these well the easiest way to find out if a new event is going to be releasing replays well of course you already know the events happening because you're checking the calendar like we discussed earlier and then you would just keep your eye out on team liquid which of course that's going to be part of the discussion usually in the forums another place you could check would be the myriad subreddits dedicated to starcraft the most common one of course is r slash starcraft best place to go is the um, new tab so r slash starcraft click new right here it's going to bring you to this page and as long as you're checking this like once a day or whatever you'll usually see all the replays that come through twitter is another good place although you have to be following the account sometimes it'll get shared among your community but you know if you know how to use twitter go for it you already know how to find your favorite players your favorite casters anyone like that so go build your own network but until you build that network it's maybe not the best reddit is a lot less buy-in investment there's actually one other great place to find replays from events and this is sc2rep.ru i believe it's a russian website click here only pro replays hit find because anyone can upload here and then it lists the league so this is was wesg 2017 europe and of course that's going to go back pretty deep for pages so let's just hit seven over here and see see how deep this goes and see now we're down to home story cup so you get your major events through this website it can save you a lot of work 